one of the one of the biggest things that we hear uh, a significant amount of leaders, managers, uh, and executives, they tend to toss around words like accountability and responsibility, mm. and what mm. they often mean is really culpability. Or yeah, yeah. The use of the stick, some means of extracting yeah. punishment upon wrongdoers within the organization. You know, somebody that was complacent or didn't follow the rules. Um, many of those leaders they feel that that's needed for some reason. Uh, they feel that they'll lose control without carrying a big stick. What, what would you share with those leaders? What, how could we go down a different path? <laughs> oh, big, Sam, big where question. to start? <laughs> no, nah, but the big questions are good. Big questions are good. Complex problems are, uh, are the most interesting ones. The first one I want to recommend to them is to stop peeing in your pants management, right? And so yeah. what, what that means is, um, uh, you know, anybody who's had kids probably has seen this happen in, in their kid, right? You go, oh, I think the kid's got to go, right? And then there's no opportunity to let the kid go. And you go, oh my God, how are we going to solve this? And the kid looks, looks increasingly scrunched up and, oh man, I have to do something. I have to do something, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and you go, no, 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 no. And then the kid lets go. And, and you know, it clatters on through the street or wherever it ends up. And, and so um, the... Um, uh, I, I see the same sort of behavior in, uh, in, in, in leaders who feel they have to take a stand or do something or respond to the latest sign of some uh, deviation that they want to make an example of or, or make very clear that they, uh, that they draw the line there and there is a boundary to be patrolled. Mm -hmm. Um, but the problem with that sort of peeing in your pants management is, you know, you look, you, you feel s relieved and, 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 um, uh, satisfied that you've done something just like the kid that let go. Um, but once it's out, you know, 30 seconds later, uh, two things happen, right? First, you begin to stink. And second, you start to look like a fool. Right. right? And so, um, hold it in. That's the first recommendation. Hold it in. Don't respond without a serious learning review, right? And I'm sure a lot in the hop community know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Don't think in terms of investigation because, I mean, that word gives you all the wrong sort of um, uh, uh, hints, right? Investigation. That means, you know, there's, there's, there's probably somebody culpable and something went wrong and that's a cause and that cause can be traced back to a culpable human being, you know? No, right. it's a learning review. Nobody comes to work to do a bad job. Nobody comes to work to do a bad job, Sam. And that's the, right. you know, that really is the alpha and the omega of the hop community. If we cannot gather around that basic principle of what, you know, Jens Rasmus and everyone back in the, um, back in the seventies started calling local rationality, mm -hmm. um, right? People do what makes sense to them at the time, given their circumstances, given their goals that they've been, uh, given by the organization that they work for, given the uh, focus of attention, given the constraints and time pressures and everything, and, you know, they're working under and the imperfect designs that are probably mm -hmm. error, um, error inviting rather than error tolerant, error intolerant. Um, if people come to work to do a good job and that's your starting point, then you can never start an investigation thinking, I'm going to find the culpable one because there is nobody culpable, right? right? People, you know, if people were doing what they wanted to do, they'd probably be sitting home on the couch having a beer or something, right? right. They wouldn't be working for right. you. Right? They're doing your job. They're solving your problems. They're helping you make money, you know? So, so from that perspective, um, Man, I'm on a rant already. But, no, keep uh, going. But, well, yeah, but, yeah, but leaders, leaders probably, I mean, I know what they're going to say. They're going to say, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, that's all really cute, Decker, but I have to hold somebody accountable, you know, because yeah. otherwise I'm not, a, I'm not seen as a leader. Um, right. I think that is absolute um, masculine nonsense. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is BS. Um, mm -hmm. You can be seen as a leader when you are compassionate when you actually give a damn about right. the people who come to work to do work for you. You can be seen as a really strong leader if you suspend your judgment, if you don't jump in and do something because you feel, you believe, you have this myth in your head that you need to be seen to be doing something. Nonsense, nonsense. Right. Great leaders ponder. I mean, go back to the Greeks two and a half thousand yeah. years ago. I mean, the greatest leaders weren't the one you know, ones who shot from the hip, well, there's none to shoot from the hip with, but, you right. know, they weren't those sorts of guys. They were the guys who were thinking, you know, and when you look at the philosophies those guys come up with, you know, stoicism, for example, mm -hmm. it was born on the battlefield. 
right? It wasn't sort of thought up in some, in some um, you know, nice little cozy uh, chamber where you could sit and drink and eat your grapes or something. No, mm -hmm. um, it was born in the battlefield, but they found out that in those heated situations, those moments where there's lots of time pressure, critical things going on, the one that emerges as the leader is the one who's able to step back and say, all right, let's take a breath, all right? I am not going to be standing here pissing in my pants because I need to be seen to be doing something because I don't want to be the one ending up who stinks and right. looks like a fool. Right.